Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mariah. I post videos about music, lifestyle, and faith, so if you are interested in any of that, then please consider subscribing down below, giving this video a thumbs up, and turning on post notifications by hitting that bell button down below. So today I'm filming a super fun video that I'm so excited about because today, guys, we are making face masks. I want to show you guys three DIY all natural face masks that I just discovered. I absolutely love them. They make my skin feel so amazing and they are super easy. Also, I didn't even know DIY sheet masks were a thing. I was just shopping with my sister at Forever 21 and I saw that they had these compressed sheet masks. So I got this package of compressed sheet masks and there's 50 in here and it was just $5. I found these and I was like, how have I not known about these? for so long, I don't know. So yeah, I've been making a ton of face masks with these, and also I think you can buy those on Amazon too for around the same price. So definitely check those out. I'll be using those in this video to make my three sheet masks. So if you wanna see how I make these three amazing sheet masks, then just keep on watching. So the first sheet mask I'm making today is the Hydrating Rose Water Mask. So in this face mask, you will use two tablespoons of rose water, and this is rose water that me and my sister actually made. And I might be filming a video soon with how to make DIY rose water, so if you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments. So anyway, you can buy this from the store or you can make it yourself, either way. But rose water is so good for your skin. It helps tone your skin. Um, it helps to balance the pH levels. It reduces redness, helps fight acne, dermatitis. It hydrates your skin and it's also antibacterial. So, so many good benefits of rose water. So the next ingredient is half a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. And this just helps to hydrate your skin and give it that glow, you know. And I also added half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. And vitamin E oil, it helps with anti-aging, it hydrates the skin, and also can help reduce the appearance of scars. And what I love about this face mask is it is great for all skin types. So me, my sister, and my mom each have a different skin type, and we all love this mask. We all tried it, and it's left our face feeling really hydrated, but not like oily, if you know what I'm saying. Um, it's just really nice and hydrating and rejuvenating, and it makes your skin really glowy when you're done. Okay, so I just washed my face and put my hair up. Um, and so we're gonna start the first mask. And I just wanted to show you guys what the compressed face masks look like. They come in this little tablet. And so basically when, when you pour liquid on them, then they start to kind of like inflate and then it becomes a sheet mask. So I have the face mask right here. So now I'm just going to unravel it and put it on my skin. And you could probably make about two face masks for this, maybe even three. I'm trying to do this without making a mess. So, makes a face mask. And these holes are a little small for me, these eye holes, so I kind of make them a little bit bigger so they fit my face better. So then you just put it on. so good so you just put it on and I leave it on um, 15 to 20 minutes I'll show you what it looks like when I take it off okay so I've had my mask on for 15 minutes so now it is time for the reveal look at that glow my face literally feels so soft and so hydrated. So I'm just gonna like rub the rest of that into my skin. So refreshing and moisturizing. Now on to mask number two. 
So the next mask I want to talk to you guys about is a green tea mask. So for this mask, you'll use two tablespoons of green tea. You'll use half a teaspoon of olive oil and then one teaspoon of organic honey. So this mask is so nice and hydrating. It feels awesome on your skin um, and it also helps to fight acne. So if that's something that you struggle with, then this mask would be good for you. So green tea, it's anti-inflammatory and of course olive oil, it's hydrating, contains antioxidants, vitamins, it is antibacterial and it's also moisturizing. So that's wonderful. And then honey helps with treating acne. Um, it moisturizes and it's also an anti Antiseptic. So this mask is overall just wonderful, hydrating, fights acne, so can't go wrong with it. Okay, so I just cleaned my skin. This mask has been soaking for just a little bit, so now I'm going to put it on. It smells so good. It smells like honey. So I just took the mask off. Now I'm gonna rinse my face because the honey is a little sticky, um, but just rinse your face with water and it will be all good. So now my skin is super glowy and it feels really nice and refreshed. So this is mask number two. Now moving on to mask number three. So next, I, I love this face mask for if you just want to relax, maybe it's nighttime, maybe you're stressed. This is just a great mask for that. So it's a peppermint tea and eucalyptus mask. So this is two tablespoons of peppermint tea and peppermint tea helps to clear acne. It helps to rejuvenate your skin, specifically oily skin, and it also soothes skin irritation. So it's nice and relaxing on your skin. And also you have that peppermint smell, which is nice and relaxing and rejuvenating. So then also half a teaspoon of olive oil, and half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. And then I also like to add one drop of eucalyptus oil. Now you don't wanna go crazy on the eucalyptus oil because it has a really strong scent. So I add one drop and just the smell of eucalyptus, it's really calming. It also has great benefits for your skin. It reduces inflammation, has antiseptic and antibacterial properties as well. So it's great for your skin. So if you are feeling stressed, anxious, maybe you had a long day, this is the mask for you. So, I'm gonna put it on my face. I smell the eucalyptus. That means it's working. This literally looks so good. It feels very nice. Okay, let's put it. Let's put it on my face now. <laughs> See if I can do this without making a mess. That is the goal. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. It's a struggle, guys. I literally bought this pack of 50 face mask tablet things. I bought them like a few weeks ago, and I think I'm like already, <laughs> like, it's halfway empty. I'm like, oh my goodness. I've been doing this a lot. It was only $5, so whatever. Applying it to my face now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, this looks weird. Okay, I think it's dripping on the floor. That's not good. Okay, let's secure this down. I'm gonna leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes and, and then I will be back. Okay, I'll see you guys when it's done. Okay, so this face mask is officially done. It's been on a little longer than 20 minutes, probably around 30 minutes, so it's kind of starting to come up on the edges. So it is time to take it off. Ooh, yes! My skin feels really good. It feels soft. Like it doesn't feel like oily, but it's like just the right amount of softness. This face mask is literally like so rejuvenating. I love the peppermint, like the peppermint and eucalyptus smell. It just comes together to make an amazing mask. So, 
Yes. So that's it guys. Those are the three masks that I have been loving. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you use these. If you do try any of these DIY recipes, then make sure to tag me. If you post anything on Instagram or something like that, then make sure to tag me at Mariah Bell Music because I would love to see your DIY face mask. And also, if you have any other ideas for a DIY face mask, then feel free to comment those down below because I'm always looking for new masks to try and I'm sure a lot of other people will be interested in that as well. So make sure to comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And also make sure to turn on post notifications so you don't miss one of my videos. I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye guys.